Hi, welcome to the Devoted event. This session is to provide an update about the Unreached Network and opportunities for training and getting involved with church planting in Unreached Nations. I'm Rach and this is Matt. We've just come back to the UK after living out in the Middle East for nine years. We were involved in church planting and now we're living in Cumbria and are part of um, the Christ Central Church in Lancaster. In Revelation, John has a vision for the future where there will be people from every nation, people group and language worshipping God. God is glorified as people from every culture worship him and find salvation through Jesus. So as Christ Central, we're already involved in church planting in lots of countries across many continents. However, in some countries, although there is freedom to, to worship God and meet publicly, in many countries uh, it's just not possible. Uh, it's, in many countries it's illegal uh, to convert to Christianity, um, or you're not allowed to meet publicly, or those that do choose to follow Jesus are ostracised from their families or face persecution. So planting churches into these kind of countries is, is hard work. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of prayer, it takes study, it takes language learning and learning a culture and it takes wisdom and sensitivity. Um, and so across the wider family of New Frontiers churches, we've recognised that to reach these nations, um, it takes a certain amount of expertise and experience that we need to be shared, that we can learn from one another, learn from mistakes, learn from lessons, learn together and help each other. And that genuinely we, we can do more together than we can apart. So in the same way that things like Jubilee Plus and Think Theology uh, gather people from across the New Frontiers spheres, um, we've now got a similar group working together to connect those who are seeking to church plant into predominantly unreached nations. So this has been pulled together under the banner of the Unreached Network and Christ Central is part of this. So the Unreached Network is a network of believers from across the different New Frontiers spheres working together, sharing their experience, sharing their expertise to equip the church and equip believers to fulfil the Great Commission in, in unreached nations. And if you've got a heart for, for unreached nations, if you've got a heart for people in these places um, and you'd like to be involved, whether that's through prayer or whether you feel like you'd like to go potentially overseas or whether you're a church leader and you're supporting those who are going overseas, then you can get involved. So our website, which is called unreached.network, provides broadcast training courses put together by those from within our churches as well as other resources and training events. We've got an online monthly prayer meeting where you can hear news and updates from around the world with the opportunity to hear from people working in challenging situations and to pray for them and the situations that they're facing. We have a training track for those exploring a call overseas through to being sent. Or if you're a church sending someone cross-culturally, we can help provide advice. We also have a one-year internship programme which is going to start this September. If you'd like to take a year out to learn and to serve in a cross-cultural context in the UK and overseas, it's not too late to apply. Due to the sensitive nature of the, some of the work that we do, it can't all be put on the public website. But if you're interested, please get in contact with us through the Unreached Network website. The Unreached Network is allowing people from across our New Frontiers family, from different apostolic spheres, to work together into town and towns and cities in the Middle East, North Africa, Eastern Europe and Asia. If you've got a heart for a place and you're not sure if we're working in that place, do please get in touch. So God calls people overseas and to new cultures in different ways. Often it's kind of quite a natural progression. It's a sense of feeling a heart for a place or a people group. Uh, you visit that place, you pray, explore, a sense of calling and then go. Um, sometimes moving cultures and countries can be just due to, due to circumstances outside our control. So we've got a couple of stories now uh, from two, uh, a family and a young lady in our Christ Central churches. Uh, and just telling their story. For Gemma, it's been in response to God's calling and direction. Uh, for Sergi and his family, it's been forced upon them due to other circumstances. So let's just hear their stories now. Hi, my name's Gemma and I'm originally from Sheffield in the UK. And in 2005, I was at New Day in the big top blue tent and someone came over and prayed with me and felt they had a prophetic word that they wanted to share with me. They felt God had given them a picture of um, me going to the nations and leading, holding the hands of little children. I've been involved in Kids Club in my church in Sheffield from the age of 11 and so in 2014 I was asked if I would bring a team 
to Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada and do Kids Club here. In 2017 I moved from my church in Sheffield to Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada and I started and led a Kids Club here. I've been doing that for the last four years and we've seen Kids Club grow and expand and include the older kids uh, into a youth programme called Ignite. Last year I took a trip to Moscow, Amman to visit some friends and whilst I was there God really started to speak about what might be next. Before I moved to Canada I was a TA in England for seven years, very much in my comfort zone, but God started to speak about stepping out of that comfort zone and doing my teacher training. And so through lots of prayer and through opening of doors, um, in September I'm going to be moving out to Amman to work in a nursery with one and two year olds and looking to be a blessing to the people of that community and seeing what God has for me next. So I've moved from the UK to Canada and now to the Middle East. It's amazing to think that God chooses to use people like you and me to be a blessing to people in communities around us and I'm really excited and looking forward to seeing how God might use me to be a blessing to the people of Oman. Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья! Меня зовут Сергей, и я хочу рассказать небольшую историю нашей семьи. До 2014 года мы находились и проживали на территории Донецкой области, несли служение в нашей церкви Рема, где был пастором Игорь Богомаз. Но потом в 2014 году начался вооруженный конфликт, и нам по определенным причинам пришлось выехать и оставить наш дом, наше служение, нашу церковь, наших друзей и все, что с этим связано. Мы молились, и Господь Бог привел нас в страну Испанию. В 15 году мы продолжили здесь свое местонахождение, свою жизнь, начали здесь обустраиваться, дети пошли в школу, начали изучать язык, и в нашем сердце на протяжении всего этого времени остается и живет мечта, которую мы пытаемся осуществлять и воплощать в жизнь. Мы евангелизируем людям, мы молимся о том, чтобы Господь Бог начинал здесь служение, которое перерастет в церковь. Мы понимаем, что Испания, как и любая другая страна, нуждается в Евангелии, нуждается в служении, нуждается в Слове Божьем. И мы с огромным желанием хотим посвятить Богу своей жизни для этого, хотим посвятить свое время, хотим принести добрый плод в спасении тех людей, которые еще не знают Бога. Это и испанцы, это и русскоязычное население, огромное количество людей, которые просто нуждаются в Слове Божьем. Вот. Это наша история. Мы нуждаемся в молитвенной поддержке, в ободрении. И очень рады, то, что у нас есть такая возможность, даже находясь за пределами родного города, за пределами нашего дома, продолжать служение Господу Богу. Спасибо всем вам, друзья, и мы рады, что во всем мире это служение продолжается. Аминь. Аминь. So it's just good to hear their stories, isn't it? These guys are just uh, they're normal believers following where God leads them. And I'd really ask you to pray for Gemma as she moves to Oman and starts serving there. And pray for Sergei and his family as they're, they're seeking to reach Russian-speaking uh, people, particularly in Spain. For ourselves, our own experience of living and working cross-culturally has, has been a, a myriad of emotions. It's been exciting and it's been scary. It's been challenging, it's been fun. Um, all at the same time. It takes it takes time, especially learning a new language. Uh, you feel like a baby just going back to square one. It's humbling as you learn a culture and try to understand uh, where people are coming from and how they communicate and what makes them tick and, and their view of God. Um, but as, as Christians, for all of us, whether we're in, in the Middle East or Manchester, um, Baku or Bolton, Somaliland or Sheffield, for all of us, actually, uh, we belong to another culture, don't we? we we're from another place. We're, as Christians, we're from God's kingdom and we're ambassadors in this world representing him. And for all of us, that requires humility and love. And we're seeking to understand those as we share Christ to those around us. Um, so we're out in the Middle East. We had the privilege of seeing people from other cultures and religious backgrounds turn to follow Jesus. Um, and it was amazing. And for some of them, it cost a lot. Um, but it was amazing, particularly as they grasped God's grace. Uh, his just undeserved favour and love, not based on following rules and regulations, but based on a loving Father and the work of Jesus on the cross. And there is real, we know there's joy and uh, partying in heaven for every every person who repents and chooses to follow Jesus. And it's, it's exciting to be part of that. 
Um, so I'd really encourage you, please do uh, check out the website, try and connect uh, to hear more news and updates uh, and be part of what Christ Central is doing and the wider New Frontiers family is doing as we generally seek to reach new frontiers uh, and share the uh, good news of Jesus around the world.